Well, within a matter of just a couple of days since the game has been released, I've already found a working glitch that allows you to get infinite items for the new 7 Days to Die console edition that will work for both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or S players. And to add a cherry on top of this already amazing news, this glitch works in single player, meaning of course it is a solo glitch, so let's just jump straight into it. So to do this glitch, first you'll need to start a Retrieve the Supplies quest, or in other words, a Fetch quest, and go to the location where the quest starts. As you can see, I'm doing a Tier 1 Fetch quest at Bob's Cafe. Once you are the location start the quest all you're going to want to do is start it and then find where the loot is located. For some quests depending on their location loot can be much easier to get to so if the loot area for your quest is a little bit too tedious to access maybe consider trying another fetch quest. But once you've located the loot area all you're going to want to do is loot everything you want to keep and then head back to where the quest was started or initiated and then exit your world. When you're back on the main menu just load back into the game and once you do you'll see that all the loot that you just picked up a moment ago will still be in your inventory and of course you can start the mission once again. From here it's just the same steps as before, start the quest, grab the loot, exit the world, load back in and repeat and boom, you've just found a way to easily get infinite items in the game. Now if you're saying to yourself, well this is cool and all Joe but it's a little bit too weak in terms of the loot quality, well the best thing about this glitch is you can inherently choose the quality or quantity of loot you'll get by either doing tier 1 fetch quest, which like the loot I'm getting here, is not bad but not exactly insane, or you can scale up and do tier 3 fetch quest, which if you don't know is the highest fetch quest you can get in the game. As a note, these will have harder to access loot rooms but if you can access them, you can get much better loot so do consider this and that is it ladies and gentlemen that is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching it if you did go to enjoy it or find it useful please share it with your friends drop a like and if you have any issues or questions leave a comment and i'll respond as soon as possible also i'm sure it goes without saying but please be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell to stay notified for when i release any more new seven days to die content for the console editions and other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching once again and hopefully i'll see you in the next video